Hi everyone, so this is going to be my end of July updates. I'm going to start outside. Uh, just yesterday I put a few of my orchids outside hoping to take advantage of the warm weather. And of course it cooled down today, but uh, I'm sure it'll warm up uh, later in the next few weeks. So my plants are um, housed in this little greenhouse. Um, I guess it's technically a cold frame. I usually use it to start seedlings for vegetables and I have to put a shade cloth on it otherwise it would uh, get too hot. And I also have the door open as well. There's not too much going on but there are a couple things I wanted to point out. So in the back there is my Cattleya dormaniana and it has two new growths. And on the bottom shelf is my Epidendrum ciliari. The larger division and the reason why I put it out here is because there wasn't a lot of progress on the new growth so I'm hoping I can trigger something with the warmer weather outside and you'll also notice there's a layer of sphagnum moss and that's because I noticed that the roots weren't growing that much and I think it's because of the humidity around the base of the plant so we're back inside and this is my Rinkoridis Bangkok sunset and it has a new leaf Actually, this guy should be outside as well, so I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so these are my Paraphelinopsis leicocchii seedlings, uh, the flask babies, and they're doing pretty well. I did remove the one that was dying last time. Yeah, there's not too much to say about them. I've been watering them with fertilizer solution um, that I've been using for the other plants on, the reg on a regular basis, so that's one change that I've made. And uh, this is my Trichocentrum albococcinium. It's doing pretty okay. Not much going on, but it seems to be fine. It's not dying or anything. Uh, this is my SLC, World Vacation Shibuya Sunset, and it has a new growth. Um, the new growth on my RLC Durigan is doing pretty good. This is my RLC Little Toshi, and its latest growth, uh, let's, this one is pretty much mature, just the pseudobulb is fanning up. And then you can see at the bottom there, uh, there's another new growth coming, so that's good. Um, the latest one that's mature doesn't have any buds that I can see, so that's unfortunate, but it, it is what it is. This is my Dendrobium scabrilingu, and it has a new growth. This is my Galeandra baurii, and the interesting thing is that there is a new growth on the side there. I'm not sure where that came from, but it's new. Yeah, that's the only thing to update on this plant right now. And this is my other uh, Epidendrum ciliari, and you can see that the uh, new growth is starting to fatten up, so that's really good. And this is my Thrixpermum leucoracne, and as you can probably tell, it's bloomed a lot. And the reason why I haven't filmed that yet is because although it's produced flowers, I've been having problems with the flowers opening properly, so they kind of just get stuck. But it is and is continuing to produce more flowers, so there's at least one, two, three there. Um, so that's good, but I'm um, hoping they will open nicely for me, so at least I can capture it. Uh, so this is my Catacetum cross, and it's putting out a flower spike, so that's really exciting. This is my Dendrobium bracteosum, and it's still in bloom. Um, there is a bloom video for this coming. I know I've said that before, but I promise it's coming really soon. And this is my other Catacetum cross, the one with the frilly lips. And uh, this one is slow to grow, and I think it's because the way the pseudobulbs are positioned, they're not uh, flat um, along the media. And one thing I noticed was that this pseudobulb is being consumed by the rest of the plant, which is not great, but whatever. <laughs> There's not much you can do about it. Otherwise the plant seems fine. This is my Dendrobium antenatum cross and it's still in bloom. Beautiful flowers. And it also has a new growth starting as well. Now uh, this is my Ascocentrum pacillum. I finally took it out of the tank and I repotted it in lava rock. Um, ever since I took it out I noticed that it hasn't really been doing much so I'm not sure what to think about that. I think it might have to live in the tank, but I also need the tank for other stuff right now. So hopefully I can improve the way this grows, um, but we'll see. 
So that in the back there is my Dendrobium longa cornu, and it has three buds on it, so that's really exciting. And uh, its new growth is doing pretty nicely as well. And this is my Phalaenopsis cornu survey uh, variation Shadow Latte, and it is in bud again, so that's great. And this time the bud is facing in a nice direction, so I can actually enjoy it. Um, so. That's new. Uh, this is my Phalaenopsis javanica and it has a new leaf. Uh, this is my Pedangus dactylocerus and it's starting a new leaf in here and also on the other growth as well. Uh, so this is my Bulbophyllum saltatorium variation albo ciliatum. Uh, actually this is a division. Basically what happened was I repotted the plant in rock wool and I have three divisions. And this is one of them. So if anyone's interested in this plant, I'm very happy to give it away. Uh, so this is my Neophenicia falcata uh, kutsuwamushi. And uh, this right here, this thing, I initially thought that it's potentially a flower spike, but I think it's actually a new growth judging by the way it's growing. So that is still yet to be confirmed, but uh, that's the update on that. So this is my Puffinia rugosa and it is in bud. I figure it's the buds will open within the next few days, I think. So that's super exciting. I feel like this plant has made a full recovery, so that's really good. I had also another additional flower spike that's starting the bottom there, so potentially another set of buds as well, so that's great. Um, so this is my Polysychnus barbata. Uh, this one was the latest growth. Um, it didn't really mature all the way, so it's very small, and I think that's because I did repot it. But overall, the plant looks fine. The bulbs are not shriveling, so that's good. Also, there's a new growth coming, so there's potential for that. Alright, so this is my Dendrobium tobiense flask, and that's the line. And you can see that, um, actually, I don't think it's grown too, too much from the last video. Um, but there's one in the back that's pretty tall, so that's good. Yeah, there's some leaves that are drying out, so I'm not sure if that should be a concern for me. But overall, the flask is doing fine. No signs of contamination. Alrighty, so uh, here you can see the Bubblefilum saltatorium version albo ciliatum. Uh, that's the one I'm keeping and then I also have a really tiny division over there So if anyone's interested in that tiny division as well, I'm happy to give that away uh, This is my Neophenicia falcata hakjo and it bloomed for me. So that's very exciting um, I did film a bloom video for this so that will be coming soon So this is Dendrobium draconis and previously it had a new growth that rotted um, But it produced another new growth and it seems to be doing pretty well. So that's good. Uh, this is my Ionocidium popcorn hariri, and uh, its inner leaf has gotten quite a bit bigger, so that's good. But the pseudobulb hasn't really fattened up yet, so there's that. Um, so this is my Corianthes misasii, and uh, this guy is the latest growth. It's fully grown, but it's a little bit skinny, but that's fine. And it's pushed out this other new growth fairly recently. Uh, this is my Phalaenopsis fimbriata, and its new leaf is doing pretty good. This is my Arangus punctata, and it's in spike with two buds, so assuming they don't blast, I should get two flowers this year, so that's very exciting. Alrighty, so that's my video for today. Um, again, let me know if you're interested in any of these divisions. It is Bubblefilum saltatorium var variation albo ciliatum. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!